Are you an OFW who regularly sends remittances to the Philippines? Have you ever tried a money sending service with a low flat fee that stays the same no matter how big your remittance is? If the answer is no, we'd like to introduce you to PaySend. PaySend is a next generation money transfer platform allowing users to send funds directly to any Visa, MasterCard, Union Pay Card, digital wallets, or any bank account in many countries including the Philippines. And don't worry, PaySend sends your money in real time. Transfers can be done easily 24-7 through a laptop, tablet, and your smartphone. Simply access PaySend through PaySend.com or download the PaySend mobile app on the App Store, Google Play, or the App Gallery. Click sign up and follow the instructions on screen. After registering your card, you can send your money with a flat rate no matter what the amount you send. Don't believe us? Over 5 million happy customers trust PaySend from around the world. Start using PaySend and send or request money from your loved ones anytime today. Now, on to the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Alan. Welcome to our planet. I'm actually the owner of this channel. I do the editing, I do the planning, I do everything. For today's video, I traveled far and wide from Dubai, United Arab Emirates, to New York, United States, and eventually here in Manila, where I currently live, and I'm really happy that I'm back. Oops, my cap almost fell off. Anyway, to basically show you guys the Jollibees around the world. Hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna start off with Dubai, United Arab Emirates, in the store in Dubai Mall. Okay, so we're on our way now to the the Jollibee and it's not here. Where's Jollibee? Wherever Jollibee newly opens in the UAE, there's always a long line until people get used to it. And now there is still a line but it's not as long as when it opened back in I think 2014. Bean say hi. Hi mom, hi dad. Some uh, one piece with spaghetti. Spicy or original. Okay. Tapos yung one piece uh, chicken with rice. Uh, spicy yun na. Tapos isang cheesy yum burger. Isang jolly wrap. Tapos yung curry flavored chicken rice bowl. For your order, po, take them to tayo 15 minutes, please. Nothing else. That's enough. This is what we've got. And I brought a ruler here just to see size difference in uh, each country. The rice is about three and a half inches almost. The burger, 3.5. And then the chickens, 3.5 as well. About three. And then over here we have tenders on top of the curry rice. This is something I've never seen ever. Here in the UAE, almost every fast food chain has their own version of the wrap. You can see tenders, maybe garlic sauce. It's their answer to the shawarma. There's no point of measuring because I don't think this is gonna be in other countries, but it's about six inches. So first try of the chicken joy. This is the size of the gravy that they give here. First bite. Really good. That was too good. The thing is, it doesn't taste like Jollibee Philippines. And it's really, really spicy. You can feel it here. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? The spice is literally inside. You can see that it's red and it's all inside. That's kind of what I was looking for in the Philippines because in the Philippines, when I eat spicy, it's only on the skin. It's just powdered on. We move on to this one. It's a curry rice bowl, which I'm really excited about because I love curry. I don't know what this is going to be. Maybe it's more in the Indian style because there's a lot of Indians here and a lot of them influence the cuisine of the UAE. Interesting. Interesting. My first time eating a Jollibee tender. Not bad. You can definitely taste that it's not Filipino in taste. The tenders taste western and there are vegetables on the side which I guess you're supposed to mix. But I just wish the curry was a bit stronger. Bolder? Fiercer. Very filling. Look how big that is. I didn't measure it but then it's about the size of my hand. This deep. So moving on to the spaghetti. It's much paler. Not as red as the one in the Philippines. It's not the same, but it doesn't taste bad. Also, the pasta in the Philippines is much more thicker. Here, it's more Italian-like, al dente. As you can see, it's much thinner. But even the hot dogs in the Philippines, it's tender, juicy-like. Last is the wrap. Now, the wrap is gonna be something exciting for me. I haven't tried it. Mm, I really like it. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Everything inside is really on point. It's really good. I think many foreigners would like this. Many people living in the UAE would love this. And if you're a Filipino, it doesn't taste like Jollibee, honestly. So what is it? This is my favorite so far. I'm ending this Dubai video, but what I hope for in the next part of this video is that New York tastes a bit like the Philippines. So let's see where this takes us. Hello, we're now in New York. <laughs> I don't know what to say because I'm so sleepy. I took a nap when I got there, but my mom and my brother did didn't take a nap, but I'm just so sleepy because it's 4 a.m. now where we originally came from, which is Abu Dhabi. Now we're just here to have Jollibee and stuff. Two pieces of 
pieces of chicken joy with rice. Is it possible to get it without the soda? The jolly spaghetti. One adobo rice too. Do you have the yum burger? In the Philippines, they call it the yum with cheese. Oh, okay. Even the halo halo isn't available. Okay. So maybe we'll just get a three piece tender. Uh, what dips do you have? Pineapple barbecue, creamy sriracha. What do you want? Pineapple barbecue. Pineapple barbecue. Yeah, that's it. This one's very American because they don't have this in Manila. Like the refillable drink. That's my tita and that's my tita. Hello. They live here in the States. What did you guys order? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? You didn't even get the chicken? No. Why are you Filipino? The size of this though. That is not Filipino size. But it's made of joy anyway. So while Kuya and Bikina are eating, we're gonna measure up whatever we got here. Wow, that is a big serving compared to the one in Dubai. And this one is something that we haven't tried. This, they also serve the tenders in Dubai, but we only tried it in the rice bowl form. And the spaghetti is interestingly orange here. The rice is about four inches. I promise it's four inches when you see it over my angle, but here in the camera, it doesn't look that way. That's what he said. The longest side is about Four inches as well. And this one, 2.5 and 4. The adobo rice. This is interesting to me. I don't know how it's gonna taste. Because obviously we do have adobo rice in the Philippines, but it's not really as common in fast food chains. 3.8. The spaghetti is obviously way, 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 way bigger because it goes over <laughs> the ruler that we have. And then the tenders, over 5 inches each or about 5 inches each. Do we have gravy? Uh, why is there no gravy? Okay, so the gravy doesn't easily come with the chicken. Death to all of them. Oh, Do we ask? I think I'll go with the spaghetti first. Hot dog is obviously not tender juicy. It's thicker and it's pinker. American like. That's what she said. Tastes like McDonald's Philippines. The spaghetti in McDonald's Philippines. Later that day. Mm. Right? It's funny because it tastes like McDonald's spaghetti. I think McDonald's Philippines is the only one with spaghetti. I'm not like other girls. It's not a bad thing, it's just not Jollibee. For some reason, I'm not sleepy now. Maybe it's the food. Next is the tenders. Dip, dip, dip. Okay. Doesn't taste like any tenders that I've tried before. Or maybe it's because of the sauce. Basically, barbecue sauce with pineapple. Take the Jollibee pineapple juice, put it in barbecue sauce, that's it. You better be joking. Tenders aren't bad. It's just not as great as I expected a tender to be. Now we move on to the chicken joy. Maybe. Yeah. Oh my god. Right? I was like, Look. What happened, baby? What happened, baby? What's your emergency? Not that we don't want to pay for the gravy, it's just I don't want to wait anymore. So here we go with the chicken. Surprisingly, it's very tender. There's a lot of laman. Mm. I like it. Not as crispy delicious, but it is very juicy delicious. A profound silence has entered the chat. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna use my hand. It's so shiny and it's so juicy, like obviously it's oil. Every thought in your mind is dumb. But it's a good type of oil. Last but not the least, adobo rice. Oh my gosh, it smells like Jerry's grill. No, I'm just oh my gosh. I'm excited for this because I like adobo and I like rice. So what more could I ask for? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> This is a game changer. I didn't react like this in Dubai, but this is amazing. It tastes like adobo. It tastes like adobo. Adobo rice. The adobo rice. Adobo rice. The Philippines ranked worse in reading comprehension. Obviously. But with garlic rice. So it feels like Filipino breakfast in a single cup. Look, they have beef chunks too. So technically, it's a pinas ulam nato. The main thing that I just have, although the food's really good, is that the same thing about Dubai, none of them really taste exactly like the Philippines. So we're here at the Shangri-La Plaza. Jollibee here is right in front of the food area. I'm looking at it right now. I mean, not really gonna be a surprise, but it, it will be nice to compare what we have. Oh, Bershka's here now. Oh, look, a bird! Anyway, wala lang. I mean, we went here yesterday, but then we didn't really explore much, so there's a bunch to see. Chicken joy with rice. Isang jolly spaghetti with chicken. Pwedeng spicy yung isang chicken, yung sa may rice. Tapos isang young burger with cheese. Pineapple juice na lang. Sorry, wala akong pineapple 
Sige, ice tea na lang. Pwedeng Chris cut fries instead of regular. Pwede mo Okay lang. Strawberry cheese pie. Uh, Tatlo ata po. Sige. Ah, uh, yun lang. Okay, so we got our Jollibee. So far, so good. It's just the waiting time was quite long. We ended the last video that I shot at around 2.19 and it's already 2.40 something. At least we got our food already. Okay, so our rundown, we have one piece chicken with Jolly spaghetti, the one piece chicken with rice, spicy, crisp cut fries, I can't remember how you say it. And then the Jollibee yum burger with cheese. And then this is not a buko pie, not a pizza mango pie. They're all strawberry cheese. One thing I can say is surprisingly, the serving is kind of big, bigger than I remembered. Everything looks so good so far. The only thing that I do notice is that the chicken has changed their recipe, the spicy one. They used to have spicy powder powdered onto it, but now it seems like it's part of the batter. Here it's just about 3 inches. Maybe 3.2 if you want to be more exact. But that's with the wrapper. So, let him try. Let's see. We're right beside the edge of... Shangri-La's highest floor. Oh, it looks kind of different. I think there's like more cheese. Yeah, it looks yeah. better than we remembered. And it's much thicker too. 2 inches. Not bad. Does it taste the same? That's a question. I think it does. It does? Yeah. The one in Dubai, it's kind of like mayo. Yeah. This one is like a completely different thing. I'm like so different. It's like almost a thousand islands dressing, right? Mm. First things first, Chris Crot Fred. Chris Crot. I don't know how you say it. Are you not embarrassed? Anyway. Mmm. It tastes very familiar. Let me try the sauce first. Mmm. I expected this to taste more garlicky, but it's more sweet, very Filipino. But this tastes a lot like the Cajun fries of Popeyes. Definitely a level up from the regular Jollibee fries, although I do love the regular Jollibee fries. To be honest with you guys, whenever I eat in Jollibee back in college, I don't usually get Chicken Joy. I get the uh, ultimate burger steak, and then that was gone for a bit. It became Big Burger Steak Supreme with fries and egg. I wouldn't usually get Chicken Joy, but if I do, it's spicy. So the awesome thing about Philippines, I mean, it's the same in the UAE, but in the US it's not. You get free gravy. Here we go. What can I say? It's amazing. I mean, obviously the chicken is not the same anymore. Surprisingly, I prefer the powdered version. It wasn't as spicy as this, although I love spicy food so much. This just doesn't taste like uh, an original Jollibee Chicken Joy to me. It's not bad, it's just not what I was used to. But so far, so good. I completely forgot to measure the chicken. Almost 3 inches. My brother has a bigger one. It's around 4.5, I guess. I wasn't supposed to try the spaghetti, but since he said that it tastes different, I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna get the hot dog, because what's Filipino spaghetti without the hot dog? Did I I get you. I don't know, kulang salasa, that's what I'd say. We don't have COVID, I promise we don't. But it's not the spaghetti that you're used to, you know? It seems like they put water in it. I don't know why, or they toned <laughs> yeah. down. See, he's agreeing, he's laughing. Yeah. And even the hot dog doesn't taste the same. Because usually the hot dog has a strong taste. Surprisingly, that's the one that kind of lost. I don't know, I forgot my English. We ordered the pie, it's just about barely three inches nga really small compared to what we were used to. Or is it because it's not a peach mango pie? Let me ask the audience. I guess what we're gonna do here is we're gonna judge the flavor na lang. Oh, oh my god. Mm. Mm. The flavor. This one's really good. It has a strawberry, it has a cheese. Is it as iconic as peach mango pie? No. Maybe on par with the choco mellow pie because I like the choco mellow pie. It's a win for this one. So for final thoughts, I guess it's best to talk about similarities and differences. Similarities, number one, it looks like a Jollibee everywhere. No matter where you go, in the Philippines, in the USA, or in the UAE, the uniforms, the service crew, they all wore the same thing. Another thing that would be similar are basically their staples, the foods that we ordered, at least there was a chicken joy, there was a yum burger. The US does serve yum burgers, but for some reason, when we were in New York, it wasn't available. And another similarity is that in the UAE and in the Philippines, the people who are in the service crew of Jollibee are both Filipino, while in the US it's a bit more diverse. But among those similarities, there are a couple of differences. And I guess, as mentioned in the video, the fact that the Jollibees in each of these countries do not taste the same at all. I don't know why. Could be because of the availability of some ingredients. Also, it might be because 
because of the restrictions per country, what you can and cannot eat. At the same time, it could also be because of adapting to the local taste buds. Basically, they made Jollibee taste more likable by the locals. But in Jollibee's defense, Popeyes doesn't really taste the same no matter where you go as well. When it opened in Robinson's Galleria, it tasted really different from what we knew Popeyes tasted like in the UAE and in the US. To end, I would say that Jollibee definitely is worth a try no matter where you go. I can't really promise that it would taste the way it does in the Philippines and that isn't a problem at all. I mean, going to different countries and trying different things is something that you should do. It's awesome to see how a fast food chain that we know and love actually can go global, just as big as McDonald's or any other fast food chain out there. It is something to be proud about as a Filipino. I hope you guys like this video. Remember that Else Planet is your planet as well, so spread the love and God bless. I'll see you on the next one. Bye! We are first.